class, welcome to our first video lesson. Today, we will discuss the definition of philosophy. At your age, you may have already asked important questions about life that cannot be directly answered through research or education. Questions like, is there God? If so, how can we justify the goodness of God in the face of evil? What is the meaning and purpose of life? Why do we have to suffer? And what is the origin of the world and everything that exists? If you have already asked yourself those big questions, then you are already engaged in philosophy. So what then is philosophy? Sometimes, people use the word philosophy to refer in a very general way to a person's overall theory or outlook. For example, the person's philosophy of life is his or her general outlook. Or, what is a teacher's philosophy in teaching? Used in this way, the term philosophy is a kind of synonym for outlook or general viewpoint. Etymologically, the word philosophy came from the two Greek words, philos, which means love, and sophia, which means wisdom. Therefore, philosophia is the love of wisdom, and gaining wisdom is the ultimate goal of philosophy. Philosophy is the science that by natural light and reason studies the first causes or highest principles of all things. Under this definition, we need to consider four things such as science, natural light of reason, study of all things, and first causes or highest principles. Philosophy is science because the investigation is systematic. It follows certain steps or it employs certain procedures. In other words, it is an organized body of knowledge, just like any other sciences. Natural Light and Reason Philosophy investigates things, not by using any laboratory instrument or investigative tools, neither on the basis of supernatural revelation, but instead, the philosopher uses their capacity to think the human reason, or what we call the unaided reason. Philosophy is considered as the study of all things. This sets distinction between philosophy from other sciences. All other sciences concern themselves with a particular object of investigation. For example, anthropologists study human beings in relation with the society. Sociology studies society its form, structures, and function. Botanists focus their attention to plants. Linguists limit themselves with language. Theologians investigate God. Whereas a philosopher studies human beings, society, religion, language, God, and plants, among other concerns. The reason is that philosophy is not dimensional or partial. In short, a philosopher does not limit to a particular object of inquiry. He questions almost anything, if not everything. It is multidimensional or holistic. In philosophy, we also need to consider the first cause or highest principle. A principle is that from which something proceeds in any manner whatsoever. The first principles are identity, non-contradiction, excluded middle, and sufficient reason. It means that nothing is existing without sufficient reason. Since its beginnings, however, the scope of philosophy has changed. Early Greek philosophers studied aspects of the natural and human world that later became separate sciences, astronomy, physics, psychology, and sociology. On the other hand, certain basic problems, 
the nature of the universe, the standard of justice, the validity of knowledge, the correct application of reason, and the criteria of beauty have been the domain of philosophy from its beginnings to the present. These problems are the subject matter of the five branches of philosophy, metaphysics, ethics, epistemology, logic, and aesthetics. These branches will be discussed in the next section. There are also special branches of philosophy like philosophy of science, philosophy of state, philosophy of politics, philosophy of mathematics, philosophy of education, philosophy of law, philosophy of language, and others. To summarize our lesson for today, the word philosophy came from the two Greek words philos, which means love, and sophia, which means wisdom. Therefore, philosophy is the love of wisdom. Philosophy is the science that by natural light of reason studies the first causes or highest principles of all things. And now, to check your understanding, I want you to go to our Google site with this link, PCC 8 hs Introduction to the Philosophy of the Human Person. When you are there, find and answer worksheet number 1, Definition of Philosophy. After answering, submit your worksheet in our Google Classroom with this code and link. So that's it guys. I hope that you learned something. Thank you for listening. Till next time. Bye!